visiting Drotswath for many years, but on one occasion, five or six years ago, the president of the city told me, we need a history of Drotswath, but it can't be written either by a Pole or by a German. You're the man to do it. It's always said that historians should distance themselves from their subject, that they shouldn't be too emotionally involved. For this reason, I'm going to take a look at Wrocław, formerly Breslau, from a certain height. The Poles talk of Wrocław, the Germans talk of Breslau, the Czechs talk of Wrocław. Uh, Latin speakers and Latin writers use the form Vratislavia. At one point we learned that there were 53 variants of the name of this city. The city's position on the open plain equally made it vulnerable to the migrations of people and to the expansion of various kingdoms and states and empires. In the 20th century, this city suffered the greatest of its tragedies when the urban fabric was almost totally destroyed by war, when the population itself was completely transformed. After 1945, the German population was forcibly removed, partly by the Nazis, partly by the Communists, and a new population of Polish refugees was brought in to replace them. <laughs> 